What's up, YouTube? All right, this is the official, very biased review of The Guitarist. And since this is Throws and Brews, and this is my yo-yo, let's get into it. So, The Guitarist, my newest signature throw drops today as you're watching this. Um, yeah, I filmed this yesterday night. Uh, anyway, drops today as you're watching this and drops on all of your favorite Yo-Yo sites. So if you prefer Yo-Yo Sam, it's there. If you prefer Yo-Yo Expert, it will be there. If you prefer RainCitySkills.com, it will be there. If you prefer ZipLineStrings.com and you would also like to purchase some of my signature strings as well with it, like Tainted Love, for example, to match, obviously, or Hulkenstein to match, obviously, uh, you can do that. And uh, I would recommend, I would I would ask that you do that. But uh, we made a ton of these. Hopefully there's plenty for everybody. And I want you to get them because I love this show. So let's talk about the specs. The diameter is 55.81 millimeters. The width is 46.85 millimeters. The gap width is a delightful 4.62 millimeters wide. It's just a mm, touch wide. Uh, I'm not real sure why it came out that way, but it, it did. It's fine. Right within the right within the scope of amazing. Uh, weighs in at 63.93 grams. Actually weighs less than the metal head, uh, which is very nice. Size C bearing, slim pads. Uh, 6061 aluminum, designed in Canada, and uh, actually designed in America. It was me and Joey Serrano that, that kind of put this whole thing together. But, of course, we, you know, we go through Rain City, and uh, they, uh, they they use the Rain City shop uh, there over in China, and it will be released in, today, actually. it's uh, It comes out at um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, figure that out. But 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the metal head releases, and uh, you know, not to toot my own horn, toot toot, but we knocked this one out of the park. Uh, this is a banger of a yo-yo, and uh, it really does everything I wanted it to do. So the metal head was a little bit extreme shaped. Clearly, it shreds. Uh, very easy to play yo-yo. Wanted something a little more relaxed, um, and so that's where the guitarist comes in. As you can see. Uh, takes a lot of similar features to the metal head. The cups are almost identical, uh, just to look at them. This one's, uh, it's this is obviously a little a little more extreme, whereas this rounds a little more. But uh, similar cuts and things like that, looking very good in that regard. Uh, the gaps, also very similar, very similar in diameter as well. And uh, you know, didn't want to stray too far from the OG because this is a this is a fan favorite. Uh, these have been sold out for quite a while, but wanted to do something fresh, and this bad boy is fresh as hell. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, new guitarist, Green City, and me. First thing you'll notice upon first throw is that we maintained most of the power of the uh, metal head with the guitarist, but it does play a little more H, so it's a little... A little more chill, not much, not a whole lot of chill going on here. Uh, nice snappy response, uh, if you use the zipline strings particularly, um, especially my ziplines. This is the black and white one, it just looks good. Rejects, rejects like a dream. Everything kind of, uh, I made sure everything rounded over nicely so that nothing gets stuck when it comes off the string. So. Get a lot of nice, easy rejections. And, uh, nice, nice snappy binds as well. Um, as far as the grind finish is concerned, uh, Jeremy and I went back and forth on this a lot. It's not overly blasted, but it is, it, it, it's pretty much perfect. I'm not, it, it, it's got that subtle blast to it that really keeps the, the slight matte finish. It really makes the, the, the colors pop. Cause it's not like you know super powder blasted but it's uh you know nice very nice on the grinds i will say it doesn't grind as long as the metal head which is sort of a notoriously long uh grinding area 
but uh, it's a nice shape and it gets the job done. A little more surface area to touch because it's a little more rounded, but you know, between that and the metal head, it's still really good. Now, finger grind, finger thumb grinds rather, on this are even better uh, than they were on the metal head. I mean, you got a huge lip there. Catch your thumb. Huge rim. Really works out. Uh, and definitely finger spin a ball. You don't wrap the string around your finger. Definitely finger spin a ball. But, uh, yeah, guys, I basically in love with it. It's exactly what I wanted out of EAO. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be exactly what a lot of you want out of EAO. Truth be told. Uh, I've thrown a lot of EAOs, and uh, to me, this sort of just hits, hits all those right notes, like the metalhead did. Sort of has all my favorite stuff about it. Um, kind of takes in a few, uh, few cool um, aspects of other EAOs I really like while also sort of maintaining its uh, own uniqueness. Which I like a lot. Not too big to uh, get through your uh, chopsticks either. Spins forever, comes right back. Anyway, let's go ahead and take it apart, show you guys what the insides look like. Okay, so, guitarist, let's take this bad boy apart. This is the Dime Bolt. Uh, rest in peace to Dimebag Daryl. This was probably the colorway, other than my signature zipline colorways, that I had the most uh, input in. Um, so we can check it out here. Lots going on here uh, between, be we'll say between the rims. Um, so we got nice aesthetic cut there. Uh, another nice aesthetic cut there. Rounds over to a nice H bell shape. Uh, that does round over as well right there. It makes it very nice for uh, rejects and everything like that. Uh, nice pads fit perfectly flush into the uh, into this pad seat. Uh, this was really machined really really well. Um, I'm not sure who did the machining on this. I, I know Jeremy and I were talking about uh, a couple different places, but really really turned out really really nice. Um, I love how the bla I love how the, uh, the the piano turned out, especially on this one. But they all turned out really really nice. And um, man, just really like. Really hit it. It was it, it was good. The proto was great. I think the I think the the final version. I, the blast is a little bit. It just knocks it out of the park entirely. Bearing standard spins good. Spins quiet. Spins long. Uh, no complaints there. Standard Rain City high quality stuff. Um, I'm not sure. Mine. I think I did tell them to send me all B grades. I don't know why they're B grades, but they're. Uh, the, they're, these are perfect. Um, they're excellent. So I don't know what the ratio is, but they're they're pretty darn good, I gotta say. Um, and so uh, I'm not gonna do pros and cons. To me, this and the, these are perfect. Uh, this is everything I want, and I am a very biased person when it comes to these yo-yos because it was me that that you know picked how they were gonna look, how they you know colors and all that stuff. So these came out exactly the way that I wanted them to. Uh, this this one particularly did come out exactly the way I wanted it to. It's exactly what I saw in my head. It plays the way I, I thought it would play, um, and I love it. And I think you'll really like it too. Um, so uh, links are down in the description. Yes, this is very biased. This is not a like critical review of a yo-yo that I can't, I couldn't critically review a yo-yo that I wanted made that came out exactly the way I wanted it. I just can't. For me, this is a 10 out of 10, and this is the way that I wanted it to be, and it just came out that way. I love it. I love the colors. Um, check this one out, too. Also delicious. Also delicious. Look at that. This is the Falkenstein colorway. It's delicious. Here's the uh, Tainted Love. Man, this one looks good, too. Super good looking stuff. And uh, that's going to do it here, ladies and gents. But uh, the Metalhead drops today at 8 p.m. Uh, all your favorite, all the best to see all your retailers. Um, so go ahead, pick one up, check them out. Uh, I think you're going to dig it. 60 bucks. Um, links are down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.